I hope you are having an amazing week so far. I'm EJ Spark and a good music artist, Big Sean, dropped Detroit 2 this Friday. It's uh, his sequel to the mixtape Detroit. Uh, everyone knows Big Sean is from Detroit and everyone knows I love good music, love Kanye, love his label, Pusha, Psy High, Tiana Taylor, everyone. And I think Big Sean is good music's golden child. I really think he's one of the best ones on that roster and always has been. So he dropped Detroit 2. I'm going to rank Big Sean's full-length studio albums. No mixtapes, no collab albums. That's just my rules. And I hold full-length studio albums to a higher standard so we're gonna get right into it coming in at number five i have hall of fame hall of fame was big sean's sophomore album and i'm not gonna lie and i hate to say it it kind of was a sophomore slump no offense to big sean but it was coming off of a tough run of finally famous or at least a good run of finally famous his debut album which was really good for a debut album and hall of fame came right after it and it was just hard to follow up because it was so good and i think he had some good songs on there like fire 10 to 10 first chain and beware with lil wayne but it just had too many floppy songs like toyota music and milf which was kind of like his sequel to dance ass but it just didn't hit the mark for me. So I have Hall of Fame at number five, which is the bottom of the list. But my favorites were First Chain with Nas and Kid Cudi. That song's actually really good. Fire and 10 to 10. Coming in at number four, I have I Decided. Now, when I was thinking of this list, I didn't really think I Decided was going to be so low on this list, but it was. It was definitely more personal album from Big Sean, which I personally like. And it was a solid album and some songs really got to shine brightly like bounce back sunday morning jetpack was a great song with the dream and bigger than me but some songs i just think were a little disappointing for me when it came to the whole album like no favors with eminem that's kind of one example of a song that kind of disappointed me a bit like when i think of big sean and eminem detroit music i'm thinking of uh, either a straight banger or just some real heart to heart type stuff and it just really wasn't either of those and i hate to say it on that one too so i guess i was just expecting a bit more from the album as a whole from i decided so my favorites were sunday morning jetpack and bigger than me i think those two songs are really really good now these top three albums uh these are in a whole nother tier i think than the other two but at number three i have finally famous which is big sean's debut album and this album was just a lot of fun i don't want to say it was oriented toward college kids but overall it just had a really good vibe to it a great vibe and it made you feel like a boss made you feel like millionaires songs like my last marvin and chardonnay with roscoe dash and kanye live this life with the dream dance ass especially the remix with Nicki minaj i mean even high with chitty bang and wiz khalifa those songs are just just major vibes and everyone everyone was going crazy for them I think it was a very underrated album because I don't really hear a lot of people talking about this album these days, but it's almost a decade old and it still lives up to the hype, I think. If you go back and listen to it, I would think it could have been made, you know, in the past few years or something like that. But the features didn't disappoint between Kanye, John Legend, Lupe Fiasco, Wiz Khalifa and more. And it was just a great overall album. I think it all flowed together really nicely. So my favorites were Live This Life, Memories, and Marvin and Chardonnay. We were hearing that song at every college party. Coming in at number two, I have Detroit 2. This really wasn't a hard decision for me to make because overall it was a very solid album and it was very good. It just came out Friday and I think this is a good album for non-Big Sean fans to listen to. It's, a, it's kind of almost a good introductory album to Big Sean, that and Finally Famous, but it has a lot of songs for everybody on it and it shows growth on Big Sean at least on most songs and that's something I really enjoy is seeing an artist growth from their debut album to now especially over the span of a decade it was a really long album it had 21 songs and most songs did their job the, the, the album did kind of go like this and that's the only reason why it's number two it didn't flow as well as the number one album or even finally famous it didn't flow as well as but because it was so long it had a lot of songs that hit right on the money tracks 
like Wolves, Lucky Me, Deep Reverence, and Guard Your Heart shine really brightly for me. Those songs I think are all profound. Uh, Wolves is definitely like a banger and profound, which are like when you put those together, that's kind of like my favorite type of music. And the Friday Night Cypher with all of Detroit was so cool. To bring a city together is just one of the dopest things ever. I would love to do that with a bunch of Cleveland artists one day. I think cyphers are a lot of fun. Just hearing all the different kinds of verses from a bunch of different people really brings variety and diversity to the tracks. So I have Detroit 2 at number two. Great overall album. Just just almost at number one this number one album of course just shine a little bit brighter for me but my favorite songs were wolves with post malone the baddest the baddest goes so hard and harder than my demons and don life with lil wayne forgot about that song that song's really good too and coming in at number one no debate for me i have dark sky paradise i believe this album came out in 2015 uh kanye west had a lot to do with it i feel like kanye elevated up in terms of production value i think every song on this album the production was just off the hook i think big Sean was on top of his game lyrically and this was definitely a darker one of his albums you know definitely a play on the title dark sky paradise and when i think of a dark album i think of just a little bit more darker lyrics maybe like a stormy lyric or stormy night type uh bass heavy really synthy type album and maybe not as party-ish too for for a darker album but nonetheless showed huge growth with dark sky paradise this was his third album and it showed immense growth from hall of fame to this album which is something i love the whole album flowed together perfectly in my opinion and the features are on point between uh kanye janae aiko and more so the other song that i really love on this is one man can change the world and i think this is big sean's best song no doubt it's not a banger it's not a club hit it's not a radio mainstream hit it's this beautiful uh piano ridden track with john legend and kanye singing the chorus and it's just one of those where you listen to at night in your bed when you're dreaming so hard you're looking up at the stars and you need something to believe in and that's this song one man can change the world so i think it's very profound it's very poetic and that song really helps boost it but there's definitely other bangers on there like blessings and paradise where big sean just goes off on so my favorite songs are one man can change the world all your fault featuring kanye and paradise and just a great overall album so dark sky paradise number one that's my list if you have any discrepancies let me know in the comments below where would you rank big sean's albums what are your favorite big sean songs and who should i do a ranking for next week that's my list. Thank you for joining me tonight. And as always, you can listen to my music on all streaming platforms. Go stream that Night Owl EP out now. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EJSpark1. I'm trying to get 1K on Instagram. And you know what it is. It's peace, love. I love s'mores. EJ, out.